In this workflow, we will cover the deep steered fault enhancement filter, which is used in the fault and fracture analysis. It dramatically sharpens the age and fault by suppressing the random noise. It is a combination of the diffusion filter and the deep steered filter. Based on the similarity threshold, the data is smoothed first away from the faults and then sharpened at the location of the fault. We start the 3D attribute engine, launch the default attribute set and select the fault enhancement filter and press OK. We select the original seismic and the steering background as input for the steering and press OK. We will keep the attribute set window open and load the default seismic data to a smaller area of the Z slice. So we right click on the Z slice, add and select data, under store we select the original seismic and OK. Then we right click again on the Z slice 925 and go to display position, change the Z value to 1640 and the inline range will be 12400 and the cross line will be 350 to 600, then we OK. That will speed up the display of the time slice while optimizing the filter parameters. Now we will apply the fault enhancement filter to the constraint Z slice so we can just move the window to the side and change the display to view Z. We can change the projection as well. Zoom in, right click on the Z slice 1640 and then add attributes and select the fault enhancement filter FEF and OK. That will compute on the fly the attributes. The processing of the fault enhancement filter finished now. We can compare with the original seismic by adding a new scene as we did before. Tile vertically, so we just add and select the original seismic and we set the same constraint by going to the display position and OK. So we can see that the uh, noise have been suppressed dramatically and the faults are very sharp now after applying the fault enhancement filter comparing to the original seismic. If we go back to the attribute set window and look at the formula used to compute the fault enhancement filter, we see that the parameter C0 is critical. If the similarity value is higher than C0 value, then the deep steered median filter seismic is used, otherwise the diffusion filtered seismic is used. Therefore, we are going to evaluate the parameter C0 using the attribute evaluation icon. So we will set the initial value to 0, 01 and the increment 0 0.1 and the number of step to 9 and we press calculate. So once the calculation finish we can move the attribute set and evaluation window to the side and move the slider to assess which C0 value shows the best result, meaning more fault visible and less noise. Then we press accept to save the constant C0. We go back to the attribute set window and create a new attributes 
deep steered similarity attribute using the fault enhancement filter attribute as input. So the attributes we select similarity and the input data will be the new uh, created fault enhancement filter under attributes. We keep the default parameters and we use the steering input full and steering background detail and the output attribute name we will call it FEF similarity. Then we add as a new. We will create yet another deep steered similarity attribute using the original seismic as input instead of the fault enhancement filter. So we'll just go to select and select the original seismic and OK. We keep all the default parameters and we just change the output name to FS similarity and add as a new. Then we close the attribute set 3D window. For comparison purpose, we display in two different scenes the deep steered similarity calculated using the original seismic on the left and the one calculated using the fault enhancement filtered seismic on the right. Constraint to the Z-slice 1640 millisecond. For a fair comparison, we have set the same color bar and min max value on both scenes. We can see clearly that the deep steered similarity attribute based on the fault enhancement filter presents very sharp age and faults. This concludes the fault enhancement filter workflow.